red, blue, purple, red. What are the meaning of these colors? They use all the colors against us. And the gang life, blue and red. We got purple gangs. You know what I mean? Gangs with purple colors too, right? The Republican, Democrat, blue, red. And the purple always represents royalty, right? All the kings were purple. Why? What's it got to do with the priesthood, my not? Exodus 26. Moreover, thou shalt make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine twine linen and blue and purple and scarlet. Scarlet. Just in case you don't know. <laughs> I said Scarlett Johansson now, nah, man. I'm talking Scarlet, man. <laughs> A bright red color. Blue, purple, red. With cherubim. We're talking Dragon. The work of the skillful workmen shall thou make them. The length of each curtain shall be eight and twenty cubits. But now we're talking about the tabernacle. <laughs> so. Something has to be groundbreaking, mind blasting, man, when it comes to these colors and how it pops us off. Oh, man. It's all happening at the right time because it's all about breaking the spell and cracking the code. And what does this number, what does this uh, color have to do with number, have to do with frequency, have to do with coding? What do colors have to do with codes? Coding. Are you keeping the code? You shall make a tabernacle with ten curtains of fine twine linen. You know the power of fabric. You know linen carries a higher vibration than cotton, right? So we're talking the priesthood. Con, we're talking the, the copper color cons just found here. 1828 Webster Dictionary. The cons were just found here. The copper colored nagas, man. The Negro was just found in America. They just found us. And what are we talking about? The Khan dynasty, the priesthood, Khan Dawi, Preston John. The tabernacle, fine twine linen, tin curtains, blue, purple, scarlet, red, bright red. With cherubim, the work of the skillful workman, shalt thou make them. The length of each curtain shall be eight and twenty cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits. All the curtains shall have one measure. Okay, okay. I mean, I just want to grasp the concept. You know, we got a great article I'm about to dig on. And, you know, we're just seeing what's going on. Exodus 39. Exodus 39. And of the blue, purple, and red, right, scarlet, they made clothes of service to do service in the holy place and make the holy garments for Aaron and Hawa commanded, as Hawa commanded Moses. So these are the clothes, my nine. They made clothes of service. So... Why do these colors, like, what do these colors got to do with serving? Serving Hawaii. And who are we serving when we make our vow or vote to those colors, right? Blue and red, Republican, Democrat. Who are we serving when we keep killing each other, man, as sacrifices in the hood, in the ghetto, in the projects, in the streets, man? Rest in power, King Von, man. Rest in power, everybody losing their life, man, whether they in Sacramento. Sacramento's going up, going going down, should I say, you know what I mean, spiraling down into this chaos, spiraling down, man, Chicago,
Chicago, a hop to Chicago, man. She, Chicago is the she, my nigga. We're talking original zones, man. Original vortexes, man. Rest of power, King Von. What? Rest of power, Breeze, man. You know what I'm saying? And Sack, man. And everybody on all sides, man. Rest of power, man. I mean, whether you on this side of the block or that side of the block. That side of the street or this side, you know you brothers and you know you cousins and you know you family. So this shit is wrong, man. This shit is wrong, man. It's a spirit, man. It's a spell run. And we got to break the spell. Blue, purple, red. How does that help us? We've been serving them, but we're supposed to make our clothes of service to do service in the holy place. That's the priesthood. We're talking Aaron in the garments, right? And he made the ephod of gold. Blue, purple, red, scarlet, and fine twine linen. So you know we're talking white linen. So it's blue, purple, red on the white linen with the gold, right? The thread, the fine twine linen. Imagine the beauty of these garments. And they did beat the gold into thin plates and cut it into the wires, into wires to work it into the blue. We're talking gold thread, my knock. They beat the gold into thin plates, cut it into the wires, and they weaved it, worked it into the what? The blue, <laughs> purple, and red, right? In the fine linen. And cunning work, with cunning work, they made shoulder pieces for it to couple it together by the two edges. Was it coupled together in the curious girdle of this effort, his effort that was upon it was of the same, according to the work thereof of gold, blue, purple, and red, and fine twine linen, as Hawa commanded Moshe. And they wrought onyx stones enclosed in ouches of gold. Graven as signets are graven with the names of the children of Israel. Onyx, I mean, we're talking obsidian, you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, we're, talk, we're talking that dragon glass. And he put them on the shoulders of the Ephi that they should be stones for a memorial to the children of Israel as a wall commanded Moshe. And he made the breastplate of cunning work, like the work of the ephod of gold, blue, purple, red. It was four square. They made the breastplate double. A span was the length thereof, and a span the breadth thereof being double. What's going on? Because then we have the emerald popping off, the sapphire, the diamond, right? Remember the secret of a diamond? We got the amethyst pop. Hey, man, love to Miss D in the copper color. Love to Miss D. Fireball, gold support, ancient herbal love songs. I still got to get you in our uh, drop shop. I just have an update to site. I've been behind the scenes. My nagas, forgive me, but I got y'all. One thou out, wow, for real, for real. And she's doing great work. So let me give her that a hop right here, live and full effect. Support ancient herbal love songs on IG. Hit up our website, ancient herbal love songs. And you you going to know. You know how to how to amethyst up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> In a beautiful uh, body scrub, man. She gave Chef Candy a beautiful amethyst scrub. Go holla at Miss D for real, for real. Matter of fact, click the link below. You know what I'm saying? After Shabbat, after Shabbat, <laughs> or before Shabbat. You know what I'm saying? Go go holla at Miss D. Hey, uh, man, Crystal James, man. Hey, hit up Crystal James. You know what I mean? He got the drop, the sapphire, right? The emerald. Hey, man, so this is beautiful. So I'm just getting into this color flow because like any other code, right? We got this blue, purple, red all the time. We got the gold. Who got the gold? Okay, okay. Let's get to this article. Now, this is, uh, you know, of course, like anything else, Dodger on Hijack, they're going to try to bring you their fake messiah. But you know, Hosea 3 and 4. <laughs> That we see Kawa only. And Kandawi. 
right? So we know when we talk Mashiach, you know, there's no script, you know what I'm saying, telling us to seek anybody else. There's no script telling us to seek Jesus, to seek Yahweh Shai. They have to put that together in a doctrine. But you, my naga, have the power because it's written that you can go to Joshua, I mean Hosea, I mean Joshua, same name. Yeshua, right? Hosea, same name. Let's go. And you can go, man, and you can hit up Hosea 3. And you know when they bring Mashiach to you, you got to be like, well, show me the script that says to go seek Jesus, that Israel's going to wake up and seek Jesus. Nah, nah. But you can go to the Tanakh, Hosea 3. Allahuwa, Shabbat Shalawa. Verse 4, the children of Israel shall sit solitary many days without king, without prince, without sacrifice, without pillar, without ephah. We're talking about the ephah, the blue, purple, red, my naga, the white linen, the gold thread, and teraphim, or teraphim. So we were, we were without our blue, purple, red. That's why it's like they used it against us until we popped off and said, yo, we got to put it together. Blue, purple, red, gold thread. And white linen. Afterwards shall the children of Israel return. So here's our script that y'all gotta, you know, with your Mashiach, you gotta somehow erase this. You gotta erase this. Because this is our charge. This is our motto. This is our mission. That the children are returning. That these Negroes are popping off. That we are waking up in our ghettos and our hoods and our projects. We're gonna stop slaying each other over blue and red and purple. And we're going to start combining and unifying under blue, red, and purple. That's how you flip the script. That's how you take charge. That's how you break the spell. That's how you keep the code. Blue, purple, red. Gold thread. Let go. Children of Israel, return. Seek the creator. Here we go. Here's our charge. And who? Jesus? Who? Yahweh Shai? Who? Who? And David, their kind. This is at the end of days, my naga. Stop BSing yourself. Stop bullshitting, man. And start paying attention and start looking and seeing with your own eyes. And if they're not bringing it out, if they're not bringing it out, you know what I'm saying, to everybody, you think, oh, okay, well, if it's in the Bible, it must be corrupt. But they're not bringing it out. So there must be a foundational truth and evidence within that that they're just muddying up. They're not inventing it. So we can find the foundational truth and search through the foundational mythology and legend. So we know that when we talk Preston John, eternal priest king, when we talk fountain of youth, my noggin, then you understand, understand, overstand that this is why we pop off and seek our creator first. No one else, not the blood of Christ and all this stuff. They don't say that. If it was that important, you don't think Hosea would be popping that off? He's talking about the end of days. This is the charge to seek Hawa. Seek Hawa and David, the Khan. Because you're going to come trembling to Hawa. And his goodness, my naga, this, this uh, fear spell ain't for you. This Corona tenderoni ain't for you. That's for the hijack. You're coming into the goodness. So we can't take our good away by slaying each other. We can't break the code no more. Because we have goodness in the end of days, man. Not chaos, man. Goodness. Goodness, my life. When you seek the creator and David. So, they can't bring us to no other Mashiach because they don't have no other script saying that. That we're going to seek their, their Messiah. Their Christ. Their Muhammad. We don't seek that. We seek our Khan of Judah. Muhammad don't run Judah. Jesus don't run Judah. He's an immaculate conception. He ain't even from Judah. But Judah got the scepter forever in Genesis, right? Judah got the scepter forever. Ka? Ka, ka? So who's your Mashiach? <laughs> who's popping off with Hawa? Right now, in the end of days, we waking up. And we're talking blue, purple, red. And now we got the purple thread. <laughs> Let's go. So they say how Messiah, so substitute their fake Messiah for the real Khan, right? So how David takes blue and red and makes 
thread to make purple. <laughs> purple people. Come on, man. Look, we're talking the royal. We're talking royalty. This is why this is royalty, my nine. There is not one significant detail, insignificant detail from Genesis 1 1 to Revelations 22 21. Dash the hijack. Everything in scripture tells us something about Dawi, my nine. Let's go. Hebrew is a pictograph language, picture writing, so colors also have meaning and a significant role in the text, all right? You know what I mean? I mean, I hope you're studying. This is a nice chart right here. I just screenshotted this chart. It's a nice chart. I dropped the link. You got it. From the high priest garments to the furnished covering, curtains, implements, everything in the colors of the Mishkan. Ka. Ka. Mish like Moshe, like Moshe, like Moshe Ka. Uh oh. Tabernacle of Moshe. Got it. <laughs> so Moshe is the Mish. Ka was designed according to Hawa's exact specifications given to Moses on Mount Sinai. Now, if you zoom in on this, I mean, look, you got the purple, you got the blue, you got the red, and this is the color of the walls, right? And the priesthood, and look at the garments, right? The purple garments with the blue and the reds, the scarlets, and the white linen with the gold thread, my nut. I'm talking the tent, right? The tabernacle tent. The instructions for the colors of the veils and curtains in the tabernacle were to be blue and purple and scarlet, right? Moreover, you shall make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine woven linen and blue, purple, and scarlet thread with artistic designs of cherubim. Oh, we talking dragons, man, not uh, a little baby with wings. <laughs> All right. And you shall weave them. You shall make a veil woven of blue, purple, and red thread, and fine woven linen. We're talking white linen. It shall be woven with an artistic design of cherubim. So they put people with wings, but in reality, you got dragons all over the place. So you're supposed to have dragons popping off. Artistic designs are not graven images. You're not bowing down to these images, serving them, worshiping them, praying to them. These are artistic designs. So, <clears throat> so anybody, you know, getting on our family that are artists that draw pictures of, of dragons and chariots and, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Those are not graven unless this is what you're bowing down to and worshiping above your creator or at all, you know what I mean? But artistic designs is all a part of Exodus. It's all a part of the tent, my not. <laughs> Artistic designs are popping off all over the place, man. And we're supposed to have our dragons popping off, man. Not my noggin. Blue, purple, scarlet, right? There were three main colors, blue, purple, and red, woven throughout the tabernacle from its coverings and curtains to the garments of the high priest. A fourth color, the pure white linen, which is not readily visible, served as a foundation of every fabric. So the white linen was the foundation of every fabric. My ox, my aquas, we popping off. We got the code. We got the code. You know this was for a reason. You know this is for a reason. I think right now, man, <laughs> we never had official colors in Drop Nation. I know we got the uh, our logo, got the red and the black. And you know what I'm saying? That's just the first logo that was designed by my homie B. Adams, man. Shout out to B. Um, but yeah, man, you know, I think it's time to have some foundational colors, you know what I mean, and drop nation and, and, uh, you know, Israel across the plain, man, Yashra, the Hebrews across the plain, we rock it, man. I told Chef Candy, I said, get that, get some samples of a Keep the Code hack, but it's going to be Keep the Code in blue, purple, red, and then like a background, like a white background, like a white linen, you know, representative. And, and the thread's going to be like a gold, yellow, gold type of thing. So, you know, I'm just, you know, we just, I got to see it, right? We got to see what it look like. Because I know it's going to feel good to rock it in those colors. And that becomes the official colors because it's been the official colors. I'm not making it up. It's already here, my noggin. We ain't got to reinvent the wheel. It's already popping off. Pure water. We got a foundation. We got a foundation. The cloth 
made for the Mishkan Tabernacles was woven with the finest tiny threads of blue and red and wing. They're positioned so close together, they appear to be purple. Ah. <laughs> purple is the joining, the melding, combining and blending of blue and red. So what are we combining? What are we joining in the tent, right? In the tent of meeting, the blue, the purple, the red. What are we combining? What are we joining? Melding. What are we combining, my naga? Right? Bloods and Crips, Republican, Democrat, or are we talking something much deeper? This was done as a visual representation of the place of reconciliation, the joining, and the place. Ha Makin, the place was called the tent of meeting, joining. It was literally where spiritual met physical, divine met human, God met man, two realities, two realms, two dimensions connected. This is a dimensional situation. So they took two colors and they're literally jamming us up in a, in a false matrix, a light coat, frequency lockdown, for real, for real, love to feel Valentine. Dr. Valentine, man. <laughs> because how do they lock how do they lock you down? How do they prevent you from meeting and joining? They gotta put red and blue against each other. Not joining. If red and blue came together to form the Royals, they couldn't stop you. But if they have red and blue against each other, Republican, Democrat, you know what I'm saying? It's always uh uh um What's it called? A, a duality, you know what I mean? Literally, it, it's, it's the oneness of the purple and then you live in a duality of the blue and the red, right? But you don't get to vote for purple and vow to purple. You have to vote for blue or red, Republican, Democrat. You got to bang blue or red. There are a few purple gangs. We already know that out here, especially in L.A. <laughs> but uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just saying these colors are a deep conscious situation. It's a deep reconciliation that we need to do to break the code. We got to join up, my naga. The blue and red got to join up, my naga. Real talk, real spill. Two dimensions got to connect. Two realms, two realities. Exodus 35, 25. And all the women that were wise. Shout out to my wise aquas, because, you know what I'm saying? Not everyone got wisdom, man. Not every brother got mama. Not every sister got mama. That is a misnomer. <laughs> but to the wise aquas, to the wise hearted, did spin with their hands and brought that which they had spun, both of blue and of purple and of red, scarlet, and a fine white linen, right? The linen was white. White speaks of purity and righteousness. Every skillful woman spun with her hands and they all brought what they had spun in blue and purple and scarlet yarns and fine twine linen. All the women whose hearts stirred them to use their skill spun the goat's hair. An excellent wife who can find for she is far more precious than jewels. She seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. She puts her hands to the distaff and her hands hold the spindle. She is not afraid of snow for her household. We don't move in fear, my noggin. For all her household are clothed in scarlet. All her household. Whose household? The excellent wife. Whose household, my noggin? I'm talking about, I'm talking about the wise, my not. The skillful women. Blue, purple, and red. The wise hearted. These wise hearted aquas popping off, these excellent aquas. Their entire house, her household is clothed in scarlet. She makes bed covering for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. She makes linen garments and sells them. And she delivers sachets, sashes to the merchants. Proverbs 31. The order was consistently the same. Blue, purple, and red. From right to left, as with Hebrew writing. 
Wow. Blue is the color of the sky, the heavens, and so blue represents the heavenly realm and Hawa, so it is always listed as first priority. Blue typifies Hawa's divinity. It could be said that its color is the color of Hawa. Blue has a very special meaning. Now, also, when you look at the chakras, you know what I mean? You got that blue way up there, blue chakra, and then you got the purple, right? That pine cone popping off that crown. The joining, the tent, let's go. Blue has a very special meaning to him. Represents the Shamayim, the heavens. It is said, Hawa made the sky blue to reflect the glory of his beloved son. Oh, here they come. <laughs> come on, man. It is said, right? <laughs> it is said. They don't got no source. They just said, well, some people say that he made the blue for Jesus. All right, man, stop it, man. Dodge your own object. The middle color purple represents royalty, and it is the melding. So we got the royal regal Negroes melding and joining of the blue and the red. So we put this together. Instead of dividing us, we come together. Instead of dividing behind these colors that are so deep in our subconscious, we come together. We know they're playing. They're on that play play. They're deep inside of us. They have inception. Our brain, they're so deep in our spirit, my naga. They over here trying to tap in, right? So we got to we gotta choose up. We got to join up. The joining of heaven with earth of Hawa to man of Ruah with flesh and only in the joining is the purple sea revealing a total fusing what's that four three two you in that purple man you joined up it's that unity it's that unity my knock this is that four three two right here See clearly. This is the miracle. Diffusing. Wah. Wah. It's Hawa's plan, my life. So we're talking about Hawa's plan. This is the miracle and hard to comprehend all that is holy to all that is not in the mystery of Hawa's plan to become so totally joined. Dodge your hijack. We're talking dot we. <laughs> we're talking dot we. Because Israel will return, seek the creator and dot we and shall come trembling to Hawa and his goodness in the end of day. Blue, purple, red, white linen. Red is the picture of a human side, his human side as well as his shed blood. The color scarlet or red is connected to man through the word in Hebrew, Adam, man which has its roots in the Hebrew word for red, ruddy, right? Ruddy naga, copper color, ruddy red. Same thing, they call it Indian red. In the Middle East, the color of the earth is primary red, primarily red. <laughs> Come on, man, we got, we got red earth, red earth, red clay, right? <laughs> all throughout the Americas, right? All throughout the Southwest, right? All throughout the South, Georgia, right? So red earth, Right, the red lands are right here. Oh, they're trying to take it to the other side, the Middle East. We in the red earth, my love. We in the ruddy. From which man was created. <laughs> we already home. And this red is a symbol of sin and guilt. These three colors are always recorded in this order. Blue, purple, red. Colors are very significant and are the same colors that are used in the garments of the high priest. Yeah, pomegranates. What we got? Pomegranata, granata, granata. Pomegranate, right? Ramon, Ramon, 
Ramon. Ramon in Hebrew means pomegranate. That's where they get Roman, Roman, Romani. So the original Romani are you, the people of the promised land, pomegranate, Kalelus. The Romani are not hijacked. The true Romans are not hijacked. They are you. We're talking the garments. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful, man. Color blue represents heaven, for blue is the color of the sky and a reminder of the heavenly realm. We are given a description of a glimpse of heaven when we read of what Moshe, Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, the sons of Moshe, and the 70 elders of Israel saw when they went up to worship Hawa on Mount Sinai, Exodus 24:10, and they saw Hawa of Israel, and there was under his feet as it were paved work of a sapphire stone, and as it were the body of heaven in his clearness. And as it were the body of heaven in his clearness. What color is the firmament, huh? The significance of the color blue would be associated in the minds of all the people with the commandments of Hawa, representing the 613 laws. We're talking about keeping the code. It is also spiritually signifies the healing power of Hawa, the healing do. It is the color which represents biblically the word of Hawa. Numbers 15, 38 through 41 denotes this biblical meaning of blue, fringe of the borders of the ribbon of blue. The very fact that the sky is blue stands for his presence. Sapphires reflect the beautiful sky blue color, reminding us of not only the blue heaven we can see, but also the heaven far beyond, lands beyond a pole, man. Worlds beyond the poles, the heavens of heavens, Nehemiah 9, 6. Thou, even thou, art Hawa alone. Thou hast made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their hosts, the earth and all things that are therein, the seas and all that is therein, and thou preservest them all, and the host of heaven worship you. The biblical blue was essential. It is used in the temple of Jerusalem. And the scripture commands that this color be worn on the chazit. Talking the fringes, man. La wa. La wa. The four corner garments of the Tali prayer shawl. Okay. All right. All right, man. We're talking red, purple, blue. Tekalet is ancient Hebrew for blue. Violet used in modern Hebrew. As a color equivalent to light blue, information concerning it remain in passages in the Talmud, which describes the source of blue dye, like the indigo, right? <laughs> a snail known as the Kilazan in ancient times, purple and blue dyes derived from snails were so rare and sought after that they were literally worth their weight in gold. These precious dyes colored the robes of the kings and princes of Media, Babylon, Egypt, Greece, Rome, to wear them was to be identified with royalty. Notice the red stripes on the inside of the snail shell by his blood red stripes. We are here. Numbers 15, 38, the color red in the Bible represents blood. The life of a man is the blood of Leviticus 17, 11. Oh, then they go to their Jesus blood. I knew that I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. <laughs> we had to hear right before that. Ka ka. So are we breaking the spell? Are we breaking the code? Are we putting it all together? So we had pieces, but are we putting it all together? Blue, purple, red. I mean, I want to rock these colors all the time, man. So you're gonna see a lot of blue, purple, red. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Popping up, man, around here, man. And uh, it's all y'all pop, you know, when you see clearly the dragons on the wall. You know what I'm saying? The dragons on the wall all over the tent. It's all in the cold, my night. We're just talking about the tent of meeting. And they said something kind of interesting about this. Uh, who is it? For the dismount. Oh, this snail business. 
So this is a snail that they say they got a lot of this dye from. <laughs> Just for fun, man. I don't know. You know, I don't usually research snails and stuff. situation, I mean, and then you start digging on snails and American snails and dyes. Do we have an equivalent? Like, let me see some. Kalazaya? If you're trying to give me some hints around here. Nah, nah, I don't want that. I was going to say American snail. <laughs> and then die. This is how we surf the waves sometimes, man. You know, this is fast and loose. Don't mind us. We're just having fun, man. we just having fun. Tyranian purple. Right, you got that Tyree situation. You always had that purple. I'm just looking in dyes and notice they're always going to be this blue or this purple or this red situation. But I'm trying to connect it to the Americas like a mug because you already know. I got to find the name of these snails, American snails. Phoenician. Somebody got the drop already, man. I know somebody been researching snails. They say, oh, love, man. That's all I've been doing was, was snail recon drop. <laughs> Okay. American snail. Let's see. American snail. All right, I mean, I'm pulling up some pictures of it. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at American snail, so we know we got snails in America. <laughs> now, which one of these are connected to dye stuff? I mean, that's how we started. Uh... Narrow things down. First include them. Here. It's an article called ImagineMexico.com. Told y'all we're making it this well. We'll be talking dyes, red, purple, blue. It says purple naturally comes from snails. It's still made that way in Mexico. <laughs> I'm out of here, y'all. I'm out of here. We out of here, boss. 
So before they take us to the Middle East to describe snails, right, let's go back to that article, because this is why you got to recon yourself. They took it to something called the Kilazan or Chilazan, right? But that's just what they're calling it in the Middle East. This is what they're trying to connect to ancient times. But they said these precious dye colors colored the robes of the kings and princes of Media, Babylon, Egypt, bro. <laughs> so all this is connected to these territories with these snails, man. Right? With these snails, right? <laughs> All right, so it says the color purple naturally comes from snails, and in Mexico, the color purple is still produced in that manner today and used in the country's tra 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 traditional textile industry. So it's a tradition. It's an indigenous tradition in Mexico. For centuries in countries and societies all over the world, the color purple has been related to royalty, power, and wealth. That was because of the rarity and cost of the dye originally used to produce it, a dye that is naturally found only in snails. Purple is royal. In Europe, traditional, only the royals were wore the color purple. In fact, Queen Elizabeth I forbade anyone except close members of the royal family to wear it, so they couldn't even wear purple unless they was part of their fake royal family. And now they're on the run, right? People were associated with wealth and power because it was so expensive to produce. The purple dye was obtained from snails that lived in the Mediterranean Sea. They were caught and killed and they extract fluid from their bodies. All right, but when the Spanish arrived in America, they were impressed by the wide use of the color purple in the fabrics of the white <laughs> indigenous people. Let go. Let go. The indigenous people, they, you can't even copy and paste from this site. It says the content is protected. You can't even copy and paste from this website because, hey, we're going we gonna to screenshot. Don't even trip. I'm going to drop the link, though, right? It's imagine-mexico.com forward slash purple naturally comes from snaps, my name. So we're talking about the indigenous people. The indigenous American people obtained the dye from snails in the Pacific, but they did not kill the snails as the Europeans did. So they had a pure water way of doing it. They didn't deliver death. It wasn't a death dye. It was an Ahab dye. You know what I'm saying? They abstracted the set. They, they extracted. They did not kill the snails. They extracted the dye with yarn and returned the snails to the sea. The people allowed the snails to rest during their reproductive cycles to conserve the species. This is a natural way. In Europe, snails were killed to obtain their purple dye. In the Americas, indigenous people extracted the liquid dye with yarn and returned the snails to the sea to conserve the species. So this takhalak, ancient Hebrew word for purple or violet blue, used in modern Hebrew as a color equivalent to light blue, informed information concerning it remaining passages. The Talmud, here's this, so here's they're gonna take it on a hijack right away, right? The Talmud describes the source of the blue dye, right? So the Talmud is gonna say that it comes from a snail known as the Kilazan, right? They're gonna try to connect that with the Middle East, but in reality, all these places are here, connected to us here. And all that Egypt, Greece, Rome situation is a reflection of what happened in the Americas. Because we just we just dropped the bomb on the ass, right? Ether bombs, snails, die, indigenous, indigenous, right? So where is these places? <laughs> We're just talking what? Mexico, right? Why? South America. Hey, we back, man. <laughs> spiral like the cochlea. See that spiral? Hey, we spiraled up, man. We spiraled up, man. 432. 032, man. 432 got us, uh, you know, back in the tent. You know what I'm saying? 432 got us back. You know, buzzing again. <laughs> and now we know how to keep the cold. And now we can rock it. All praise Allah, 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 the most high, ancient head of days. Our only 
savior. Our only Shalawah. We joining together. We keeping the cold. Dragons on the wall, my night. Allah, why? We're going to preserve our tent once again. All praise our most high power. Hawa. Fire dance. Hala Hawa. Man, we just sat through a great recording in the Torah only session. Every Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific, man. Tune in at 432 to drop. Get the app and get in the classroom, get in the flow, and look out for it, man. Blue, purple, red. On white linen with that gold thread. Hala, hawa, man. Peace to the tribe. Feels good to do this with y'all. We just popping off. We just getting started. The cons continue. All praise our creator.